what's up? So today I wanted to do another little story time video because something weird and kind of freaky has been going on like not in my house per se but around my house more specifically near my fence so a little closer to home than I would prefer so Last week, something weird happened. My husband is actually a huge skeptic of like all things paranormal. He actually makes fun of me on a regular basis for me watching any paranormal TV shows, watching people talk about paranormal things on YouTube. He just, he, he ridicules me so much for this. He thinks it's just hilarious how like obsessed I am with something that just does not exist and is not real. Like he was convinced like it's not a real thing until about a week ago. So my dog was outside barking his head off going crazy over at our fence line at something like something over by the fence. So I just went to the door, poked my head out, and hollered at the dog to try and get him to come inside. But he was like obsessively like angry with something over in that corner. I figured maybe there was like a bird or a cat or something on the other side of the fence. So I kind of dismissed it and I told my husband, hey, can you go get the dog? He's not listening to me. He won't come in. He's going crazy at the fence. Will you go get him? So my husband went outside to go get the dog. So he brought our dog Buster back in. When he came in, his face just looked like in complete shock and disbelief and his face was pale. And he told me that Buster was not just barking at some animal or something at the fence. There was something or someone, there was some dark shadowy figure peeking over our fence. Now out here where I live, like we all have privacy fences and so our fences are six feet tall, which would mean for this thing to be peeking over our fence, it would either have to be seven feet tall, it would either have to be seven feet tall or standing on some kind of stool. But my husband said that this thing, this dark shadowy figure was looking over our fence and then it noticed that he was looking back at it and took off and disappeared towards our neighbor's house. So I couldn't believe it. My husband of all the people, the biggest skeptic out there, seeing some dark entity and the dog obviously had seen this thing as well and that's obviously what he was barking and freaking out about. So I kind of hoped that it was all over and that it was just some sort of freak incident but then, just a couple of days ago, my dog was out there again. This is late in the evening, and he was out there barking and freaking out at that same spot over by the fence. And there, I saw what looked like some kind of shadow figure again over by the fence. But I saw something just what looked like some kind of shadow just like jet away from the fence when I walked outside. <laughs> so I'm hoping that it's just some sort of freak thing. Maybe it's just a weird bird or something that in the dark late at night it just isn't what I think it is. But I don't know, I, at least it's not in my house and it's not, whatever this thing is has not come into my yard and I have not seen anything in my house or in my yard. It's all been over by my neighbor's house that we share the fence line with. I don't know you guys, they have two little kids. I don't know what this thing is, but I know that from everything I remember growing up, it seems like these things, like children are just magnets for these types of things. And I have a small kid and just, ugh. It's like seeing the boogeyman or something. Like, I don't want that near my house or near my property or in my life. 
and I'm hoping that I'm just I'm hoping that my mind is just playing tricks on me and playing tricks on my husband and that it's just some weird bird or something that maybe was near the fence and just the way that it was sitting and the lighting and everything that it was just not some shadow person and that it was just some weird animal that in the right lighting and the right atmosphere looked like something that it wasn't because if it was some kind of entity this thing is seriously like it would have to be like seven feet tall and it just gives me the freaking willies just thinking about it I don't know what do y'all think like it's kind of freaky and kind of creepy I don't know and I feel bad for my neighbors because I, I hope it's really nothing I really hope it's actually nothing if I see anything like this again though I will try and keep y'all updated and let you know what's going on but hopefully I'm hoping that I don't see it again I'm hoping that me and my husband don't ever see this again because whatever it is it all starts with the dog seeing something and freaking out so I know it's there's something there there was something there because the dog the dog is not gonna growl and bark and be angry with nothing there's gotta be something that was triggering him so oh, I don't know you guys um, I'm hoping nothing like this happens again so anyway thank y'all for listening to my story I don't know if any of y'all have had any kind of weird experiences of your own with these types of shadow entities I was just gonna make a video about organizing my pantry but I was like this I gotta share this story I gotta see if anybody has had similar experiences out there cuz it's crazy so anyway guys thank you so much for watching and subscribe to my channel where I post videos every Tuesday and Friday I'll see you next time bye